Back now at 8.09 with the newest animal sensation that will have you saying, ah, a baby polar bear just a month old being hand raised by zookeepers in Denmark. We are going to say hello to Siku in a moment, but first here's NBC's Michelle Kosinski. Is it possible, fathomable, advisable that anything on this planet could be this cute? Trying to roll around, getting a massage, and maybe his favorite pastime, napping with his little tongue hanging out. But his name is Siku, which means sea ice, the baby polar bear born at a Denmark zoo. And in his one month of life, he's winning admirers around the world thanks to internet video. <laughs> doesn't get much more adorable than this. Some call him unbearably cute, weighing less than two pounds at birth. When his mother couldn't produce milk, zookeepers stepped in, round the clock, tending to his every need. Who could resist? Now he's a healthy seven pounds. But those big squishy feet say it all. There's a giant bear in there waiting to come out one day that will be more than a hundred times his size, at around half a ton. It calls to mind one other famous baby polar bear. Yes, Knut, the beloved Berlin superstar who inspired songs and merchandising, who eventually became a little too big to snuggle. Or Knut died suddenly in March of encephalitis at four years old. In captivity, they can live 40 years. And there are only an estimated 25,000 polar bears left in the world. So zookeepers are giving Siku all the care he can handle. What a job. To ensure that whether or not this guy also becomes a rock star of the animal kingdom, he will be as happy as this for a long, long time. The polar bear that is melting hearts by the millions. For today, Michelle Kosinski, NBC News, London. And Siku is with us now, along with his primary caretaker, Frank V. Larson. He's the director of animals at the Scandinavian Wildlife Park in Denmark. Good morning to you both. Thanks for being with us. And Frank, Frank looks like he's got his hands full already <laughs> this morning. Frank, obviously the adorable part about this is obvious, but, but taking care of a one-month-old polar bear is not that easy. What are the challenges? The challenges were to uh, get him to eat from the beginning. Unfortunately, his mother had no milk, so we were left with two options. We could either leave him to die from starvation, or we could bottle rear him and turn him into an ambassador for his wild cousins living in the Arctic. And now he's five weeks old today exactly, and he's grown from 800 grams to just more than four kilograms, so he's doing very fine. What's involved with taking care of a polar bear? I mean, <laughs> we can see this is not easy work you've got going there. It just takes a lot of patience and takes away your sleep. <laughs> uh, but it gives back a fantastic opportunity to, uh, to see this little thing grow up. He was 800 grams when he was born, and uh, I weighed his daddy two weeks ago, and he was just over 500 kilograms. So there's a long way to go yet. You talk about a long way to go, and it's not an exact science. I mean, there are risks and there are, are challenges, and we all knew the story of Canute and that adorable little polar bear that grew up but unfortunately died at the age of four. What are the, what are the, the odds for long-term survivability for Siku? Oh, they're very fine. Uh, Siku will be a completely different bear than Knut. Siku will grow up in a different environment. As I said, he will become an ambassador for his wild counterparts in the Arctic. His name Siku means sea ice, and that's very symbolic because the sea ice is melting and that's threatening the very existence, survival of the polar bears. Uh, also, we have the world's largest polar bear facility here covering two and a half hectares. And uh, when he's about two years old, he will move in with the other four polar bears and have a very normal polar bear life, as normal as it can be in captivity. Ah. And what's the, the, the long-term plan for him? You say that he'll be in captivity, or you, you wouldn't expect to return him to the wild, I take it? 
No, none of the animals we have in, in zoos and wildlife parks are supposed to go back to the wild. He would never make it. No, he's going to stay here with us and uh, take part in an international breeding program for polar bears in captivity. So hopefully in a few years' time, he will become a, a daddy himself. Frank, just do me a favor. Can you pull that index finger out of his mouth so I can see that it's still there? <laughs> okay, I just wanted to make sure. Oh, it's just that sweet little tongue. Exactly. Well, listen, good luck with Siku. He is truly adorable, and it's a wonderful thing you're doing there. So thank you for joining us. Can I make a New Year wish on behalf of Siku? You may. Well, Siku would like you all to reduce your carbon footprint and save energy. And uh, if you all do that, he will be very, very happy. I think it's a, a good wish for everybody. Frank, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And up next, we're going to talk about some year-end tax right. tips, what you need to do before the calendar flips over to 2012. We'll get to that right after this. One more shot. <laughs>